Hi everyone, this is Milan from Techie Druid. Today I am going to show you how you can play real PlayStation 3 games on your Android phone using the RPCSX emulator. Yes, you heard that right. You don't need a PC or a console to enjoy PS3 games anymore. You can now run them directly on your Android device. In this tutorial, I'll guide you step by step through the complete setup process. We'll install the official PS3 firmware from Sony's website, set up a custom GPU driver to boost performance, and then test two popular games. The first is God of War 2, which comes in PKG format with a RAP file. And the second is Rat Chat and Clank Future Tools of Destruction, which is an ISO format. I'll be playing both the games using the on-screen PlayStation controller layout on my OnePlus 10T smartphone powered by Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. So make sure to watch till the end because I'll walk you through each step clearly and show how well these PS3 games actually run on Android. Alright, let's get started. Now, let's begin the setup. The first thing you need to do is install the RPCSX emulator on your Android phone. This app allows your phone to emulate PlayStation 3 hardware and run PS3 games directly. Open your browser, search for RPCSX GitHub. You'll find the official GitHub page of the emulator. Download the latest version of the APK file from here. Once the download is complete, tap on the file to install it. When the installation is done, open the app. You'll now see the main interface of the emulator. It'll be empty at first because we haven't added any firmware or games yet. Before you can run any PS3 games, you'll need to install the official PlayStation 3 system firmware. To get the firmware, open your browser and search for PS3 games. Look for PS3 system software update package. This is Sony's official website. Scroll down this page until you find the section that says Update using a computer. Expand this section and you'll see a button that says Download PS3 Update. If you tap the button and nothing happens, just long press on it. From the menu that appears, select Download Link or Save Link As. This will manually start downloading the firmware file. The file name will be ps3update.pup. Once the download is complete, open the RPCSX emulator again. Tap the menu icon in the top left corner and select the firmware option. Then browse to your downloads folder and select the ps3update.pop file. The installation will begin automatically. This process might take a few minutes, so wait until it's finished. Now that the firmware is installed, the next step is to add your PlayStation 3 games to your emulator. RPCSX supports two main types of game files. The first is ISO, which is basically a full disk image of the game. The second is PKG, which is a digital game package that requires matching RAP license file to run. To add your games, tap the plus icon. Then tap the file icon and browse to the location where your game files are stored and select them one by one. If your game is in ISO format, it will appear ready to launch. But if it's a PKG game, you might see a small padlock icon next to its name. This means the game requires a RAP license file. To fix that, tap the padlock icon on the game. Then browse to your game folder and select the correct RAP file for that game. Once it's installed, the padlock icon will disappear and the game will become playable. Before running the games, I'll also install custom graphics driver called Turnip. This driver is designed for Snapdragon processors and helps improve performance and stability in RPCSX. To install it, open the RPCSX menu and go to Settings. Scroll down and you'll see the option called Custom GPU Driver. Tap on it. And then tap the plus button. Here, you can see two options, Download and Install. If you select download, the emulator automatically fetches the driver directly from the internet. This is the easiest way to get the latest turnip version without downloading it manually. If you already have the driver file saved on your phone, you can choose the install option instead. I am gonna choose download. 
Then choose the Turnip V25 3.0 Revision 11 driver from the list. Then tap on Import. It will fetch the selected driver version directly. Once the Turnip driver is added, tap on it again to activate it. Remember, Mali GPU users on MediaTek or Exynos unfortunately cannot use these drivers. They can continue using the default system driver. Now let's start by testing our first game, God of War 2. Tap on the game to launch it. The first time a PS3 game runs, the emulator starts compiling shaders and other data files. This process is completely normal and only happens once. Depending on your game size and your phone's performance, it might take a few minutes to complete. Once the compilation finishes, the game starts and you can see God of War 2 intro screen and main menu, just like on the original PS3 console. I am using the on-screen PlayStation controller layout to play the game. The control appears directly on the display and I can move the joystick and press the buttons just like on the real controller. On my OnePlus 10T with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor and the custom Turnip GPU driver, God of War 2 runs very smoothly. The gameplay feels fluid, the frame rates stay consistent and there is no noticeable lack of stuttering even during intense combat scenes. The graphics look sharp, the audio works perfectly and overall the performance is excellent for a PS3 game running entirely on an Android phone. Now I'm gonna test the second game, Ratchet and Clank Future, Tools of Destruction. Just like before, the emulator starts compiling shaders and loading game assets. This step usually takes a few minutes the first time you run the game. Once the game starts, you can see the intro screen and menus of Ratchet and Clank Future, just like on the original PlayStation 3 console. I am again using the on-screen PlayStation control layout to control the game. The buttons and joysticks appear directly on the screen and they respond quite accurately. In my testing, the game is fully playable, but I do notice a bit of lag during gameplay. The frame rate occasionally drops, especially in busy scenes or large environments. However, considering it's a PS3 title running natively on an Android phone, the performance is still very impressive. Lowering the internal resolution can help reduce the lag, but overall, it's definitely playable. Compared to God of War 2, this game demands a bit more power, so it's normal to experience small frame drops. Still, it's amazing to see such a big PS3 game running on your phone without any external hardware or cloud streaming. It's important to remember that RBCSX is still in active development, so performance and compatibility will continue to improve with future updates. If this video helps you play your favorite PS3 games on Android, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more detailed guides like this. You can also comment below which game you want me to test next and I'll make a video on it soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.